If I've done my job right, you should be excited to begin your career path as a programmer or a developer. I know I'm excited for you, but what are your next steps, you might be asking yourself. How do I actually move forward from here? Well, I can't say this enough. I, it's the same thing that I say over and over and over. If you want to learn how to program, the first thing you need to do is get your feet wet. Just jump right in and get started. I've showed you a number of different tools and ways that you can get rolling here inside of this video series. But also, you want to give yourself some direction and some focus if you are going to try out with programming. And that can come in a lot of different ways. For instance, maybe start a hobby project. Look into Unity if you're into video games. Unity is a great way to learn both C-sharp and JavaScript and is an awesome, gentle way into the world of system design, software architecture, and yes, programming and development. You could also take on a task at work. In a lot of offices, there's a lot of work to be done, and they may be looking for someone to step up and perform a job or write some simple software for them, maybe in PowerShell or Bash scripting. Raise your hand. Get involved with that. Talk to your friends and your colleagues and your family. Find out what tasks or what jobs they might consider or what they might be interested in seeing you do. And yes, of course, explore formal education. I talked about it in another video, but there are some real value to getting a degree from university, a two- or four-year degree from your local college. Whatever you decide to do, remember this, that a career in technology means first building a foundation of technology and skills and then growing it from there. So you can go a lot of different places once you've got that foundation. You need to have that solid base that you're going to work from. And once you have that, well, the sky's the limit. And you're not locking yourself into anything by learning this technology. If you sit down and, and learn how to program web pages with JavaScript and HTML and then decide that you don't really like doing that, that's okay because a lot of the skills that you took on or that you learned while you learned that technology are going to be transferable to a lot of different places in a lot of different ways. That's just how technology works. If you want some concrete and immediate next steps that you can follow, well, all right. You know what? You're already ha part way there. You should be watching this or another one of CBT's Intro to IT courses. They're free. They're interesting. They're cool. They cover a wide range of topics, and you can watch them right here on our YouTube channel. Then take the quiz at the link below. Follow that link in the description of this video, and you'll be able to take some quizzes and earn a certificate of completion, demonstrating your knowledge of the foundational topics that we talk about in these videos. And show it off. Put it out there inside of your LinkedIn. Add it to your Facebook page. This is an important step when you're setting goals for yourselves and when you want to learn something new is to be public about it. Tell people. Tell your friends and your family. Let them help you and let them hold you accountable to the things that you want to accomplish. Remember this always though, prepare for your future. You want to look into maybe some A plus or Network Plus certifications for programming? Hey, CBT Nuggets is a great place to do that, but there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. Ensure that you are preparing for that future. Also, talk to your employer, job placement agencies, friends, family, anyone else who any has any ideas about this stuff, and they will tell you some things that you're going to need to know, some next steps that you can potentially take to get started on this career. I can't encourage it enough. I have never been sad that I got involved in this job, and I don't think you will be either. So that covers some next steps for the aspiring developers out there who are watching this. I can't wait to see you out on the battlefield. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.